Notice there's a pile of, uh, of handouts and some uh, fake dollar notes. Um, for now, you can just leave them uh, as is. Uh, they'll be needed for the group activity, so we'll, we'll explain uh, how, how to use them. Uh, feel free to pick up any of the index cards if you need to for, for writing any notes, but everything else is going to come in handy as we get into the exercises. Should we get started? All right, let's get started. Go ahead. So our topic for today uh, is Beyond Moscow, uh, Prioritization Techniques for Agile Teams. My name is Tarang Bakshi. I work uh, for ThoughtWorks as a project manager. I'm Chirag. Uh, I work at ThoughtWorks uh, at our Pune office uh, as well. And I've been a developer. I've played project manager roles as well. So, so in, in today's topic, uh, like the topic says, uh, we're talking about prioritization techniques and, and not just the basic ones like uh, must have, should have, could have, but, but a wide range of topics. So, so, but before we talk about what exactly we'll cover in today's topic, a quick sort of poll to, to get to know who all have done prioritization exercises uh, of, of some kind. Have you been part, ha, who has participated in prioritization exercises? Okay. Cool, about half. Uh, who's, uh, which ones of you have uh, led or organized sort of um, run these sessions. Run these sessions yourself. Have you? A few people. Okay. Okay. Couple of you. All right. And how many of you have uh, have been in a prioritization session, uh, ran an exercise, and then felt this wasn't as effective? Did you feel the results weren't weren't quite what you expected? Stuff like that. So you have you have some experience uh, like that in the room. So so we've been uh, over the years working on on various projects, me and Tarang individually, and and in some cases even while we were working on the same to team together, we've uh, we've come to realize that prioritization in agile teams is a is a very important activity. It 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 happens whenever it does happen. It has long term impact. You know, when I say long term, the next two three months of what the team is doing will be determined by by those uh, those sessions. And the other thing is that that it needs to keep reoccurring um, every few iterations at some in, at some level and every few months at least in most projects so 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 that's why we've we've come to realize that there is a variety of uh, of these types of techniques uh, you know they they vary in in the scale at which you run them they vary in in what you're getting your uh, your stakeholders to think about and so in this session that's what we will try and cover a few of those try and get you to play a few games do a few exercises yourself to for you to experience some of that 